As many as 500 underground sites lie close to this 45-mile section of the Western Front, crossing the Chemin des Dames Plateau. Both sides use them as troop quarters. In April 1917, the trenches here see some of the heaviest fighting. A massive French offensive fails to break the German lines. But for Jeff Gusky, this is more than just another underground site. He hopes American soldiers left a vivid record of their presence here. This place is huge. It just seems to go on and on and on. Oh my gosh, look, here's a dog. What Jeff is entering is a centuries-old quarry a source of limestone for building, dating back perhaps to the Middle Ages. The Germans were very organized in the way they marked different sectors. And they just left everything in place. So all around you, you see objects of daily life. You find food cans and tobacco pouches and clocks and pots and pans. And you find shells. Fortunately, this is not live. Over several hours, Jeff Gusky finds plenty of images too, but none obviously American. He enters a new gallery. The walls are blank, but then. Oh, wow, this is huge. This is amazing. Looks like it was made yesterday. It's been in darkness for almost 100 years. Mechanic A. R. Dean, Company G, 103, U.S. Infantry, South Brewer, Maine. I never heard of that, that town. Not only German, then French, but American soldiers, too, made this their temporary home. Uh, E.J. Lasky, Manchester, New Hampshire, this guy is from Boston, Massachusetts, Elvin R. Dickerson. So, or Nickerson. It looks like hundreds and hundreds of Americans were here, and they lived here. 